Let's open, motherfuck. Open, you fuck. Why aren't you opening? Rawr! What the fuck? Okay, I need a screwdriver. Pry the bitch open. Here we go. Pry the bitch. Welcome to another riveting, exciting episode of Tech of the Century. And today we're going to be working on a, um, this is a, a Motorola DX, DCX 3400M PVR. Now, I bought this at the thrift store for all of two bucks. So, that's great news because PVRs, um, if you can get them for cheap or free, they're a fantastic source for computer hard drives, which will, you know, if you get one of these cheap or free, you also get a hard drive that's cheap or free because computer hard drives run about a hundred bucks. You can save yourself, you know, up to a hundred bucks, possibly even more depending on the size of the hard drive in these things. Um, you can save all that money on buying hard drives to upgrade your computer. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this thing apart. There should be a hard drive inside of this thing. And we're going to see how big the hard drive is. So, let's get her started. And, ah, fuck me. We got, uh, shit. We got these little fucking torquey screw things that I don't have a screwdriver for. If you can see that, yeah, they got a fucking stupid head on them. I don't think I have, I might have one. I'll take a look in my uh, junkie drawer here. Ow, fuck, 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 fuck. <sighs> Screwdriver under the fingernail. That's always nice. Uh, oh, I found something. Let's see if this one works here. This is like a socketed, it's like a mini socket on top of a fucking screwdriver. And it's too fucking big. Uh, okay. I don't think I have one, so we're going to try just an ordinary pair of needle nose pliers and see if we can get into the goddamn thing. Urgh, this doesn't look fun. I am not impressed with whoever decided to fucking put these on here. Uh, I don't think it's going to work. About uh, channel locks, probably not. Nope. Fuck me. How about the cutting edge on this pair of? No. 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 Fuck. I'm gonna go see if I can find a tool to take this piece of shit apart. All right. So I'm back from the garage and. Uh, I didn't find a bit that is going to fit on this fucking screw. So I'm going to tell you what, what uh, you could potentially use to get these out. These are essentially Torx bits on a screw head. So what you should do if you're going to be ripping shit like this apart is uh, save the Torx screws that you take out of, you know, scrap electronics or, you know, wherever the hell you can get them from. And then you can take them, throw them in your screw gun, and you automatically have a bit to take them out. Now, I don't, I couldn't find a torque screw, because I usually when I take them out of something, I throw them away and throw something more standard in there, because I don't feel like finding a torque bit to uh, take shit apart. So, I usually just throw the screws out and throw a Phillips in there or something. But, uh, I got something... Hopefully this will work. I got a uh, Allen head screw that it, it kind of fits on here. It's a little wobbly, like it doesn't go all the way on, but it does kind of go over it. Because these fucking screw heads are tapered, so you can't throw a set of vice grips on there and crank them off, or at least it's very difficult to do that. The smart fuckers at uh, Motorola don't want you to get into here and steal the hard drive out of them. So. What we're going to do is we're going to take uh, this and take our friend, the hammer, 
and uh, we're going to hammer the Allen screw onto the top. And either we're going to modify the screw or we're going to modify the, uh, well, we're going to modify one of the two screws so that this is going to fucking work. So, uh, here we go. I... Ow. Well, that's, they're both pretty hard steel here, but I think we're getting somewhere. Fuck, I hope that works. Well, we'll find out. Who the fuck is calling me? Let's keep going here. We're making the screw. I think that might work. So now you take the screw and put it in your fucking screw gun as if it were a bit. There we go. And let's see if they come out. Oh, make sure it's turning the right way or else you're going to strip the fuck out of something. So this is the correct way to take a screw off. Good. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> we got, look at that, we fucking got that son of a bitch out. Yeah! Good. We're not keeping these. <laughs> these ones just piss me off. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah! Look at that. We're in. Good stuff. <laughs> right on. Into the garbage those go. Or recycling, whatever you're gonna do. Let's open, motherfuck! Open, you fuck! Why aren't you opening? Rawr! What the fuck? Yeah, I need a screwdriver. Pry the bitch open. Here we go. Pry the bitch! Oh, you got a fucking plug thing here. Let's rip that out. There we go. Gone. We're not reusing this thing after. Oh, we have a hard drive in here. It's not bad. Hey, I mean, take a look at it. Uh, here's the hard drive that's inside this fucking thing. A 500 gig hard drive. So that's half a terabyte. I mean, you could use that for something. It's not too bad. So we're gonna pull that out because we don't need it in here. How the fuck does it come out? It's dusty as shit in here. Phillips! Yay, Phillips! Thank Christ! Where the fuck are my Phillips screwdrivers? Everybody keeps boring my tools. Here's one. Okay. Take that son of a bitch out. Uh, we have little tabbies here. Okay, it has little tabbies down here that have been bent. I don't know if you can see that fucking uh, metal casing right here. And a little tabby that you get a twist off with with uh, a set of pliers, and then this fucking thing should pop right out. Go. Come on. Pop. You fuck. Pop. Wrong screwdriver. Where's the flathead? No. Here's one. Oh, there. Fucker. There, we got our hard drive. Look at that. Cool. Free hard drive. Well, two dollar hard drive. Two dollars for 500 gig? That's, that's worth it. I think. I think it is. It's not too bad. I'm gonna rip this fucking. Well, actually, I'm gonna take the hard drive out of this uh, caddy here. Just a regular Phillips head screw. It's a nice caddy. Not about you it for anything. Ugh. All right, there we go. We got a 500 gig hard drive that we can happily format and reuse. Um, the the data that's on these things. I've, I've, I've taken these things apart before to get, you know, cheap, free hard drives. I think I found a couple uh, dumped off at the e-recycler and I grabbed them. And, uh, yeah, I got a couple hard drives out of that. I think they were the same thing. They were 500 gig. Um, 
and I, I looked at the data on these things to see if I could watch some TV shows that somebody recorded, right? But no, they, they encrypt them or encode them a different way, so you can't just take this thing and stick it in your computer. They got a little, they got smart, so that you can't just fucking steal TV shows off of it. So, uh, yeah, it's, all it's worth is just, you know, you take it, you format it, and reuse it for whatever the hell you want. For data storage, for backup, anything you want. So, there we go. Anything else we want out of this? We have this M card thing. Media Cipher. I think this thing, this might be the device that you use to decode the data on the hard drive. That's my guess. It works like a satellite uh, decoder card that you that you put into your satellite uh, receiver. So I'm guessing that's the same thing as this. And uh, I think I tried putting it in a computer once and didn't do fuck all, eh? Uh, so yeah, it, I don't think it's worth saving. I mean, we could put it in the hack top and see what it does. So maybe I'll take it out. We'll see what it does when I stick it in the hack top because, you know, regular, um, like Windows computer or anything, it's a PCM, PC MCIA card. So that'll just pop right into your laptop, your old laptop, because I don't think they have PC MCIA cards anymore. What the fuck? How come I can't get in here? There we go. Okay, you just rip it out. Yeah, PC MCIA card. Um, it's the media cipher and they have lines where you can write stuff on it so I don't think you can put any data on this thing and then maybe we'll take it apart and can't get anything get it to do anything I don't know we'll see uh, there's a nice cooling fan there's a nice beefy fucking heat sink in here maybe we'll take uh, this beautiful heat sink out of it because heat sinks are beautiful uh, yeah, and, uh, oh, there's a switching power supply. I don't know how fucking good that is. Let's look at this power supply. See if there's anything good. It just fucking snaps right onto the board. So, it's easy to pull out. Arr, it's supposed to be easy. Easy, I said. Oh, there's a couple of fucking... There's a couple metal clips on this fucking thing. We're going to rip those out. They're right, uh, right here and here just to keep it kind of forced down into the fucking... Uh, into the box here. There, you get all kinds of parts in here for two bucks. How do you like that? I, gotta, I need to pry this bitch out of here. Okay, right, we got power supply. Uh. You can always look this thing up and see what it is. I have an Apple II clone that has a dead power supply in it. And if I could use this, that'd be great. Depends on what kind of voltages are coming out of here. And, uh, yeah. All you need to know is where the fucking ground connectors are, and then you can find out the voltages. It's easy. I want this fucking heat sink, though. How is that connected? I think it's just... Um, I think they just use the... Uh, the heat sink compound and let it dry on there. So we're just gonna try if I can pry it off. Yeah. That's... There we go. Got it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. You can use that for um for other stuff. Fucking eight. Okay, we got parts. We're getting parts out of this thing. Yeah, two bucks and you get a whole shitload of fun. This is a nice fan. Fan still works good. You know, take that. They put these fucking uh, goofy little pin things in here. All you gotta do, well, this is a rubber squeezy one. So you s squeeze it and you can just pop them out. Well, that's how it's supposed to work. Uh, whether that's gonna work or not, I don't know. Fuck this. Bullshit. Where's my cutters? There they are. Yeah. Let's cut that bitch. I don't want to fucking deal with this rubber crap. There we go. Oh, let me just show you how I'm doing this. There we go. You just take your fucking pliers and stick them on that thing and snip it off. Boom, 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 boom. And you got yourself another cooling fan for your PC. Look at that. Ah, there. Beautiful. That's a nice little fan. Sure. You'll use it for air conditioning. 
Huh. <sighs> anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, I mean, some of the shit I could harvest if I really wanted to, like these uh, RCA jacks and S video and HDMI, but I don't even know what the fuck I'm gonna use that. If I need that stuff, I'm just gonna order it from China. Okie dokie. So that's it. Uh, I tore it all apart. I got, you know, a small handful of shit that I want. We got our power supply plugged in here, and um, we got the fluke meter here, and we're going to find out uh, what kind of voltages we get out of this thing. So I looked at the bottom of the board, the ground, you look for the ground plane to find ground, and then you can just run your other, your positive meter lead along these guys to find out basically, you know, how much voltage is there on each of these uh, pins. So we'll see if we can put this thing to use in my apple. So uh, ground goes right there, and look at that, plus 12 volts, that's good. Nothing, that might be ground, nothing. Five volts, hey, we got nine on here? We got five volts and 12 volts, that's good. I like that. Three volts. Well, um, if, I need, uh, <laughs> if I need nine volts, I could put five and three together, I guess. Lots of three volts here. I don't know if there's any AC on this. We'll, we'll find out right away here. Um, minus five volts, that's pretty good. Plus five volts again. Well, that's not too bad. All right, so I confirmed that uh, the Apple II uh, power supply is plus five and plus 12 volts. That makes things fantastic because I can take this thing and uh, modify it inside my Apple II uh, clone um, computer that I got. It's, it's got a dead power supply. I've been dying to get this thing up and running and to see if it works. And now I have a power supply I can stick in there. Fantastic. Okay, so I got the uh, IBM uh, Hacktop stink pad out. And uh, it's... Here's the PCMCIA card. We're gonna put under underneath the Wi-Fi card and just jam it in there and uh, power it up, and uh, we'll see what it does. Uh, okay, let's see if it finds new hardware and if it asks for a driver, because it should identify it as something and then want new hardware for it or new um, or a new driver for it. Let's. Do that and go to the control panel. Uh, so you can find new hardware. Add new hardware. Windows installs some fucking hardware, blah 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 blah. Search for plug and play, blah, 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 blah. Yes, please. Automatic. Fuck go already. Detection progress. Wow. Wow. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now we wait for Windows to do its thing. We have a list. Did not find any new devices, so guess what? It does not find it. I thought maybe it would find something, but no go. So. We have no clue what that thing does, and I am not really interested in finding it. You know what? Maybe I'll take it apart. Fuck it. We'll take it apart and see what's in it. Okay, so I've never taken one of these things apart. I'm guessing that's... Uh, I don't know. Like, the plastic must come out of this end or something like that. We're probably just going to rip it off. Because, you know... We're mad like that. <laughs> it's just a can. This thing goes together like a fucking sandwich. So the place to take this apart is here. Look at that. We're getting in. I didn't realize that. We're getting there. I need a bigger screwdriver. Fuck. This little one is not doing anything. Here. I'll make the bigger ones do it. <laughs> a 
Oh yeah, it's working. They have a good twist and it, they pop up. Look at that. Okay. There we go. Fuck. That's soldered in there. What the fuck is in here? Uh. Here's some part numbers for you to look at. There you go. You can pause it and look at it if you want. I think you might be able to get the fucking battery out. That's pretty cool. If you snip it, you might be able to get it. It looks like it's spot welded onto the battery. Uh, battery's probably still good. Let's see if I can rip it off here. Fuck. I don't know if I can, but we'll try. <laughs> Without sharding. Short the battery. Nee, 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 nee. Well, we got it cut off. I think that's the way to go. Uh, come on, you fuck. I don't know if I can use this or not. We'll see. There we go. Uh, oh, you fucking destroyed the battery. Nope. Yep. Nope. Maybe. There's a dent in it now. So, <laughs> I don't know. Come on, you fuck. There, there we go. Get all that off. Uh, got a little bit of a dent in it. Yeah, can fix that. There, flat enough. Is there any voltage on that still? <laughs> Give me my meter, we'll find out. Well, if there's any fucking voltage on it. Maybe see if it's still any good or if it's garbage now that I've destroyed it or bent it and dented it. Yeah. Okay. We got. Well, that's millivolts. That's no, that won't work. Stupid. Two point eight four volts. It's not great, but it's not bad. I mean, you can still probably use it in something. So here's all the cool shit that I got out of that um, PVR. We got a 500 gig hard drive, a nice cooling fan, a nice BP heat sink, a uh, battery if I am going to use it, and a power supply for my for my uh, Apple II clone, which uh, hopefully I'll get around to very soon. I'm very excited that I got a power supply and all this other shit for two bucks. Okay, so we're gonna add the hard drive to my uh, hard drive storage case here, which is an old A-Track uh, storage case that is no longer used for A-Tracks. It works very nicely though. Okay, oh. well, I got a problem here. The problem is there's no more room. <laughs> yeah, I store hard drives from whatever the fuck I can find. I got no room for this thing. Alright, so, uh, well, until next time, we'll see you again, we'll be hacking up something else. I'm very much sorry that I, uh, I put out videos so slowly. I mean, I could tell you, oh, donate to my Patreon, and, you know, and I still will put, would put out videos just as slowly as I do now, because, you know, donating money to me doesn't, you know, I have a full-time job that I like, and uh, so why should, I'm not gonna do this full-time, there's no way in hell. But I still like making these videos, I still like ripping things apart and fixing things, and I'm still going to do it. The reason why you haven't seen anything from me in quite some time now is because uh, I've been working on a really big project that I've been, uh, I've, I've been repairing this item, I've been uh, filming it as I go along, and I've been doing it all fucking winter. It's just needed a lot of work. Uh, but it's a really nice item, it's really cool, you're going to absolutely love it. And uh, it, it's still not done. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you next time, and uh, we'll maybe we'll fix the uh, maybe we'll fix the Apple II clone. I'd like to do that because now I got a power supply I can stick in there. I think sitting since I bought the fucking thing about a year ago. All right, so we'll talk to you soon.